So weird things happened and the season one trailer for Warzone and Black Ops 6 got released or leaked. Uh, technically, it did not get released. And the only version that we have right now is this style, weird ratio and everything like that. Um, but I, I haven't watched the entire thing yet. All I know is that uh, if you play the music, that's keep them separated, aka pretty fly for a white guy. Um, I obviously can't play that music, so I'm going to mute it here. Maybe I'll put some music in the background. Uh, we're going to watch this through, and then I'm going to show you a couple little Easter eggs through this and have a look at a couple of the various different skins, operator skins, things along those lines, uh, and take it from there. But yeah, it's on Charlie Intel, detonated, posted it. Uh, it. It's kind of everywhere, but not officially released yet. Hopefully my channel doesn't get in trouble for um, putting this up, but um, I don't know. Hit that like button uh, for taking a risk. Here we go. Mute the audio. So it comes in on an ATV. We've got the helicopter. This is one of, okay, we're, we're going to come back. We're going to play this through. Uh, I'm going to talk about it, but then we're going to pause it at certain points. So we obviously have new operators. As of right now, the names have not been confirmed, uh, but we can see several different new characters, like a new Troy Marshall skin. There it is right there. I believe that is Savadi Dumas. She is the new head operator for season one. Uh, we don't know for sure whether that's Seb, but she is the master of disguise, so it's kind of hard to say. Um, also having several, several new skins as we go throughout here. But this entire trailer is taking place on Area 99. So this is all the Warzone crossover trailer. Uh, and as you can see, there is one big thing that is repeatedly being shared throughout this trailer aside from the new skins because as we know when there's a new season there's new skins also that slide animation down the ladder just looks ridiculously fake um there's frank woods there obviously not making much sense on that one he's supposed to be in a wheelchair but you know run free so they're talking about the movement being added into warzone as well there's another new skin that appears to be one of the new warzone camos which the new camo system in warzone is going to be implemented starting this week now there's a couple of weird weird things with this update first of all at the very end you're going to see something here also there was another new skin there there's troy marshall grabbing onto sev november 15th Free content update the 15th of November. So I don't know whether this version of the trailer that leaked also character in the background looking a lot like Pete Davidson. And then we have a weird mask on this character over here. We haven't really seen much as far as Black Cell goes within that trailer. At least I didn't. Um, the other thing is the 15th. Of, this is supposed to come out the 14th of November. We know that's in season one. So I'm wondering if season one for Black Ops 6 is going to be on the 14th and then the war zone integration on the 15th. This is not something that we will know until later today. I'm guessing we'll maybe get another Black Ops 6 season one trailer as well as the full roadmap and everything like that for season one. But as of right now, we, we don't know fully, but it's weird that it says the 15th of November. So again, might be an old trailer or that might actually be when war zones getting integrated. So let's take another quick peek through this. So first of all, this screen right here. Let's pause it here. Up top, we have the Advanced Technologies and Applications division. It's all rusted out. It says leaving, and then it says Echo Ridge, Echo Ridge Weapon Station, Nevada. So Echo Ridge Weapon Station is the area. That is where we are. It is being run by the Advanced Technologies and Applications Division, the same division that created Cradle within the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 story. So just keep that in mind as we go through this various different scenes here. So we see that right away. Obviously, they're trying to paint that. I am not sure which two characters these are, but obviously new skins going on there. Uh, clearly, a nuke going off. This is to show off that this is the same universe as Nuketown. If you go onto the Nuketown map, you can actually see Area 99 off in the distance. If you go into no clip, you can see it off in the distance. If it was in theater mode, you could go as well. But for some reason, theater mode is broken with Nuketown right now. Uh, but we've seen that. I've talked about it on the main channel. Now we have Call of Duty Warzone, this cool little screen here. Nukes dropping. Now when this person first dropped, I thought this was Ghost. As it turns out, it is Troy Marshall with a new skin here. Um, so that'll probably be a battle pass skin. We'll have to wait and see. But you can see the Cerberus. That's actually a, a pretty telling thing um, in the parachute. Zooming in on that. This pretty much tells me that they're going to be introducing many different types of parachutes that you can drop in in-game. That's my guess there. Again, this is the Season 1 operator. I believe, I believe this is Savati Dumas. 
Uh, I am not 100% sure, but if they were introducing a new female lead for season one, it, it wouldn't really make any sense for it to be anyone else. And again, it's hard to tell because she is the master of disguise. Now, it shows you several areas. The other thing, obviously, dirt bikes are making a return. Uh, obviously, that'll be one of the main vehicles on this map as a whole. Now, I believe that weapon skin that we saw there, I think this is a Warzone one. Uh, as we know, we are getting mastery camos in Warzone. We don't know what those challenges are going to be as of yet. Uh, maybe we figure that out today. Maybe that is throughout the weekend. I don't know. But I think that is the first look at one of those that we have seen. Uh, but we've seen the actual mastery ones before. Zip lines, obviously, this is just showing off the several areas throughout the map. The one thing you may notice here, we got a 50 cal sniper. That is a new weapon. That is one that we have not seen before. So there's a new weapon right there. Another new skin, you could see the uh, kind of black and white stripes there, face mask. Another, I don't know who that's for, but it's a new operator skin nonetheless. Looks like uh, we can see down here, uh, once again, advanced technologies and applications, just doubling down on that. As you can see, the kill streak dropping in, or I guess in Warzone, it's not a kill streak. We have an ATV with someone sliding backwards, and th this, th that just, like, how bad does that, like, why would you put this in? That looks so bad. It looks like fake. It looks like they're almost going into no clip. We have the grenade launcher. Now this, it, uh, it's your old pal, Archie Adam. So that's the screen that's going on there. This is obviously going to play into the overall Nuketown lore. You can already see him on the TV on the Nuketown map. But what's interesting about this scene, and I'll probably talk about this on the main channel today, is that is almost reminiscent of the scene from black ops one when frank woods jumps out the window with krevchenko but backwards you can see the explosion you can see the person come up it quite literally looks the opposite of that and then we have the screen frank woods coming in there odd that they're showing him right after that uh, i think that is either a new camo or a new blueprint hard to tell at this point but it looks pretty cool we got a rocket launcher there's another new okay so there's a close-up of the weapon skin uh, I believe that is the other new operator coming within this season. This weird mask, night vision goggles thing. You can see once again, a different parachute in the background. There is the weapon. Helicopter flying over top. So obviously helos are going to be a part. We got jumps, the classic scene. Another uh, new operator skin there. You got the, the red suit as well as a, some sort of gas mask. Now... I'm not sure which character that is. That could be a different version of Savati Duma. I don't know who else that would be otherwise, but maybe I'm just missing it. And then there is, I believe, going to be the main operator skin within season one right there. And then we get to the point where we can see November the 15th. So again, that is the weirdest part of the entire thing. November 15th being the free content update for Warzone. So... Two options. Number one, this is an early version of the trailer and we'll get a different one later today once the full thing comes out on YouTube. Uh, that will say the 14th of November. Option number two, uh, this is when the Warzone update is coming out and it'll be a day after the Black Ops 6 update. I think that is completely possible. Uh, option number three, they're moving the launch of this, which would be really weird because that's a Friday and we don't normally do that. So I don't know what the correct option is, uh, but that has been the leaked trailer. Hopefully this video doesn't get taken down. We got Pete Davidson off in the background there. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe, turn notifications on, all of that jazz. And until next time, peace.